So I think let's move on to our final topic because we've already kind of just started talking about it. The current balance of the yeah. game. Um, now, I want to start just by asking you guys what you think, the, who you think are the problematic characters, you know, who are the, who are the, the, the bad guys, who are the villains in this game right now. I will, I will start with, with, with my list of my, my, my top five. I think um, you have Ling Xiaoyu. I think it's a big problem. I think um, Europe. Ling Xiaoyu is a big problem yeah. in Europe. Yeah, Ling Xiaoyu. Yeah. I think. Um, well, this guy's in Europe. Yeah, on. I don't feel like Ling Xiaoyu is a big, big problem. Yeah. Maybe you guys don't know how to fight. Fight. Maybe. I'm not play versus each other. You guys only have Iftazar Shokat in Pakistan. <laughs> but like, I feel like Ling Xiaoyu is a big problem. Oh my god, bro. Uh, yeah. Um, right, right. Maybe you just don't have any good Ling players in Pakistan, Arslan, you know? Okay, we'll see in the future. <laughs> All right, so um, <laughs> I think I think Ling, Dragonov, Fang, um, Azucena, and King, probably. I don't know, but you could, There's like I said, there's a lot of characters. You know, I think Lee's really strong. I think, um, I think yeah, Devil Jin is really strong. This. Jin, I think, is really good too. There's a lot of good characters. Um, but yeah, uh, you guys can go. Like well, Arslan, what do you think? I mean, what, what are the problem characters for you in this game right now? Balance-wise, who's really strong? I want to hear his tier list. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll oh, give yeah. my... Listen, I'll say 10 characters, but I'm probably going to say 15 because there's too many good characters. Okay. Top 5. Who are top 5? For me? Yeah. Okay, first I'd say Dragonov, second Ling, third Fang, Fourth, Azucena. Fifth, I'd say Lily. Lily. I think people are sleeping on Lily. Sixth, <laughs> oh, I'd Lily. say Reina. Seventh, Alyssa. Oh man, you have a whole list. Uh, who else is there? <laughs> Devil Jin. Actually, Jin. I'd put Jin over Devil Jin. I think Jin is slept on. That's my, that's my time. I think Jin. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so it's your top 10? Yeah, I said 10. I, I, I think. This is your top ten. And King as well, King. Uh, yeah. Mm. I think for me, is first is Fang, mm. second uh, is Dragonov, and the third is Azucena. Um, and then I think, who else? I don't think about like top five because I can add a lot of people, a lot of players in like four and fifth positions. Yeah. I think these are the top three in my opinion. Um, and the real problem is like I think is the. Is the mechanic it's not about the character i think that's the real problem lies uh, and but there are some moves that are really broken about this character in case of fang like full crouching for one mm. i think it shouldn't be it should, it should be like blocks done on the first move something like that it's easier to fight dragon i think than fang in tournament in my opinion but like there are a lot of things about when it comes to fighting these characters in tournament but the real problem lies in the mechanics. Let's say if we have less chip damage on Azucena's running 3-2, Azucena would have been this much of a problem, you know? Or uh, maybe downfall 1-4 should be minus 10, I think. So it's mm -hmm. also it's more, so these are like the top three, but the problem lies in the system, not in the characters, in my opinion, more problem lies in the system. Mm. Uh, Akuma, what do we think? Uh, all right, so three biggest problems for me. Dragonov, I think he's genuinely he's close to release Leroy for me. Really, release Leroy is still good. He's on, he's on that level of just his moves do too much too easily. Thank right? you. It's snowball just, effect. Yeah, snowball mm. effect. Like he 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 hits you once, it's over. Like you feel like you lost the round. He hits you down back three plus four. You already feel like you lost. You're full health, but it feels like the round's over. Right? He just does too much too easily. Then there's Azucena, too much too easily again. And King's just sniffing glue, right? So, <laughs> like the the three the three of them, like they need to, they need fixing. They they're like the the problems, right? Then I think characters that are just too strong that need to be put back in line would be Feng, Nina, Ling. Devil Jin's actually grown on me. I don't feel like he's that bad uh, as I originally thought, but still probably needs a bit of toning down. But I thought he was worse than uh, than he is. I've grown a bit on it. Kazuya has been uh, creeping up. A lot of people have been saying Kazuya is better than Devil Jin now. And I can kind of feel it. Like I, It doesn't feel Kazuya... like you're playing Tekken 8 against Kazuya. 
Bro, I've said this from the start as well. I think Kazuya is so slept on. I think yeah. Kazuya arguably is better than Devijin in Heat. If Devijin didn't have his Heat smash, I think Kazuya in Heat is so dumb. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. So, uh, Kazuya might be a problem. Like, I went to Japan and talked to the Japanese players. They kind of opened my eyes on Kazuya. So, Kazuya needs uh, needs some looking at. I don't, really need, I don't really know what to change on Kazuya, but Kazuya needs some fixing. Like I said, Feng's too strong, Link's too strong, uh, Devil Jin's a bit too strong. Uh, so I'm looking at the roster now. Uh, Lily, not much needs to change, but maybe she's maybe a bit above the rest. But there's always, I, I, I consider like there's always going to be some characters above the rest. So she, she's in that too strong, but I don't think she's an urgent need of fixing. Nina is is big up there. It, like it feels like she does too much. Like they gave her back all the nerfs she had from the demo. Because we were all going like, oh, they took away the counter at launches, but they gave her a bunch of stuff in return, but she's still good. And then they gave it all back when the game came out. Mm. So she still has back four, she still has down back two. Um, yeah. she's she has I mean, I, ridiculous combo tough. damage. She has that power crush that we keep talking about. Like she has Game way strings. way too much. Bear strings that now have mix ups that don't need to be there. <laughs> like so yeah she needs uh fixing i'll put it still above uh, still below the first free asset but her i think her and feng are like second in line so that, probably my top five is dragonov azucena king feng nina and uh ling's probably like right behind but like if she she could be in front of of him i don't i don't really mind it so yeah like victor's annoying but i don't think he's top tier Mm. Uh, no, Reina, no. I need more Reina XP. I'm she's, starting to see stupid, the problem. Bro. Like, I'm starting to see, like stupid is fine, but I'm starting <laughs> to see how good she is. Yeah. I'm starting to have to see how how good she is, but I still need more XP. Mm. And Jun, Jun's a bit too strong, but it's, it's, she's overrated. Jun's overrated, but she's she's very good. The rest for me are kind of fine. Maybe law, but I, I need more law XP. I can't talk yet. Yeah, yeah I, I hear everyone talking about law. Yeah, yeah, you named other characters. I don't the experience. I think the thing about like the thing is that there's a lot of hidden characters that we don't know at the moment. Yeah. They might be like very strong. Yeah, but everyone's focusing on the top. Like dude. everyone is like in Pakistan, where I feel like I feel like Claudio is also strong, but no one's gonna talk about Claudio because it's mm. not popular. No one is winning, but I feel like Claudio is also very strong. So there's are like a lot of characters who are hidden, and we we didn't explore them. Uh, um, so, can I ask you I what makes so Claudio good. so good apart from FF4? Because I'm I'm genuinely asking. I he does like he seems good, but I can't tell what really puts him above everyone else. Apart from FF4, I what am I'm I missing? I'm not saying he's like above everyone else, but I think he's very strong. No, the right, above the mid tier, basically. Yeah, because he has the he a race drive kind of string back four two in heat, mm -hmm. and then uh, the new mechanics that allows Claudio and Leo. To be to have the special ability even after using the heat, and then after Rage R, he also has the heat. You know, not not the special move. You know, where he can do far one plus two one plus two combo, and then down one two. And this is on blast stage of uh, floor, not floor wall breaking stage. He can do uh, he can break the wall with his heat heat smash. Oh yeah. So I think these are the kind of things that are really really powerful about him. It's so scary. Yeah, about him. I don't think we touched on like in. I don't think we took we touched on like installs. I think some characters with installs and heat become a bit overwhelming. Like he said, Starburst, having Starburst. to guess between like a low heat smash and let's just say Starburst board one plus two. Like it's too much, man. It's too yeah, much. in heat, yeah. let's say if he's in heat, you can uh, you can do three far one plus one far one plus two. And it's anti high, you know, you cannot do anything about it. And then down back four, down back. I, he has a new mixer, side step forward, side step down back one plus two. Yeah, it's a combo now. It's, it's not like yeah, yeah, it's a launcher now. Mm -hmm. So I think these are the things that makes him buff. So like the yeah, question that, that, is that, that makes uh, sense. That makes sense. Yeah. The I thing is that there are those characters we don't know, and they might be like very strong. The way that we didn't a lot of the like eighty percent of the world didn't know about Akuma was so mm -hmm. broken. They found out later. You know, I, know, I was Akuma, playing it like the first few seasons. I was playing it. How is he? How exactly is he bad? <laughs> like, like I'm doing, <laughs> like I'm good. killing you every time I hit you. What? How is he bad? <laughs> so, like, Bro. this is the thing. So, we are not sure, like, who are really, really strong right now. But like, three characters that we all gonna agree, I think, is Fang, Dragon, and Zena. 
at the moment. I think they're like no. Yeah, true. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. Uh, Joey, what do we what do we think? Um, so I think everyone else <clears throat> just laid out a lot of really good ideas and you know identifying like the strong super strong characters. Um, Got to take into consideration like the character's strength as a whole, but I do like focusing on focusing in on like specific moves that I think are stupid and overpowered. Um, so to name a few, um, <laughs> I think I think Jin down two is an outrageous move. Um, <laughs> I have to think that this move is so stupid, and uh, I've had some people pushing back on me like it's it's not that good. If you... who who dead say that? CPM said it. Give me the gin players, gin players. CPM give me the that address. He said that he said it's reactable. It goes within five minutes. My <laughs> motor was reacting to my down twos. Yeah, it's reactable. I think it's reactable as well. It's reactable. Yeah, yeah, it's, it, it is. Yeah. But but who, but who think... cares? Who cares if it's reactable? I can place it in situations as like a counter hit launcher to beat high. Yep, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The, the reactableness doesn't make it any better. Like yeah. uh, the way I was I was putting it. Like imagine you took like Hey Hachi's down back two. And you made it faster, and you made it have better tracking, and you made it a counter hit launcher. Minus that fourteen. Was, that, was minus, that was minus fourteen. Would, would you mm. be like, hey, was, you could still react to it? It's not that good. It would be the most <laughs> insane thing ever, right? <laughs> uh, so I think Jin down two is stupid. I think his forward forward two uh, is way too good as well. Just all Mishima uh, forward forward twos are crazy. Yeah, yeah demon um, pot crazy. Yeah. I think double Jin heat smash needs to be looked at. Um, Drag down back three plus four. We've already talked about it to death. Azu, I think three two. Drags back four as well is ridiculous. Why does it ground? Why does it, it hit it grounded? grounded? Yeah, the grounded hit is is really like I think moves shouldn't hit grounded and flip over, man. There's too many moves that do that now, mm -hmm. and I don't like that at mm -hmm. all. Like you can't even stay on the floor and chill on the floor for a bit, man. You have to get up. <laughs> like down, 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 you, have, three, you have to get up and then you die. I'm yeah. saying it. Yeah. Frames down for three. Yeah. Dragon's QCF four. There's, there's a million views. Yeah. Mm. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah. I, good point. I, I, I think you know the the old back four three or back four is it back four one or back four two? I can't remember. Like the fact that that mid extension was safe, I think was fine because it didn't do as much. But now that he you're risking, like he can just go for the high from the 14 frame low um, like ground hitting mid. That's a heat dash launcher. But then there's a safe mid extension if he just kind of doesn't want to take the risk for it. Like, I feel like that needs to be toned down. And if you press on the third hit, he gets a guaranteed back four free. Mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. He just gets too many properties. Down forward one four. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, why is it a counter hit launcher? Like, I can understand get, getting something on counter hit. Why is it a launcher on counter hit? Yeah. Uh, the like, full cut. I mean, it, the thing is, I, I'm. I'm confused. One thing that I think was really good in Tekken 7 was when patch notes came out, they gave reasoning as to why certain things were buffed or nerfed or whatever or yeah. added, you know, and I really loved that. That was an, that was something that the community asked for and they gave it to us uh, immediately, you know. This is why we've, we've, we've given this uh, move this change because we thought that this character was struggling without this or whatever, you know, any reasoning. I would love to see the reasoning as to why they decided to give... Dragonov, two really <laughs> really strong lows when he already had arguably the best low in the game so down to okay he's really good low but now you're giving him a hatchet kick who has plus seven or whatever yeah, counter hits I, I, knocks down i was talking to to a dragonov player about that and he was like but that's that's Jigsaw. what he's always done and i went yeah he's already doing that why did you give him more <laughs> and the, the full crash down forward one which is if the block stun it makes it very difficult to punish in the first place but minus 13 i don't know gives you mad plus frames into the mix-up I don't know, man. It, I just, I just don't understand why he needed it. To be honest, but also, why does he have like the best movement in the game on top of everything he has? That's great. That's man. that's one of my biggest issues with him. Yeah, he has an amazing sidestep and the best backdash. Yeah, yeah. Like mm. he's just, bro, he's he's zooping across the screen like it's tag two, but it's just him. Mm. But yeah, yeah. Uh, Joey. Yeah, sorry, you were. Uh, we, we cut you off. <laughs> oh, uh, no, no, you're good. It's, the discussion is good. Um, yeah. yeah, I mean, just listing off some more things. I think um, Reina Ford for two needs to be like yes, that. I don't yes. know uh, exactly <laughs> what to do about it. Oh, it's um, so brain dead, bro. Sorry, yeah. sorry which move? Uh, uh, Reina Ford for two. 
Oh, yeah. Two, yeah. two things, bro. The, the, it should, this, you should not be able to go in a stance on whiff because the whiff into the power crush is crazy. Mm-hmm. Okay, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the, yeah. the, for, some re- for some reason, they made the jab trade with the three after the, on block. I don't know why they did that. That would be mm-hmm. one, one, one less frame of yes. negative on block. Like one one mm-hmm. more frame. That's all we need. Yeah. Yeah. 4 4 2 into, th- into Sentai 3 uh, mm-hmm. trade, trades with jab, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that yeah, just one frame makes all the difference in the mind game. There, I don't know why it trades with jab. That's that's crazy. But yeah, forward for two, as a as a block punish is really good. As a as you know, yeah, block punish with punish and just in general, if you play arena, they're just going to be throwing out forward for twos, man. And it's just a it's a difficult time, man. It's a bit too easy. I know with with Reina, it kind of felt like she is a mix between Amishima and and Lydia, but then just way stronger, like. Uh, she has obviously a lot of strings and that is something that can be very difficult to play against and that, if you look at uh, the three new characters Victor, Azus and Arena, Victor actually uh, you know his this is one thing I want to talk about his his um, counterplay seems to be quite not I wouldn't say obvious but it's there you know he has a clear weakness you know his tracking isn't the best and um, you know maybe his lows are, are quite risky in, in kind of like Lars right in, in a way mm-hmm. back in the yes. older games Whereas you look at Azacena and you look at you look at Reina and the weaknesses are not obvious and plus there's so many strings and stances to look out for that um, labbing against the character and just trying to understand how to play against her can be very difficult right for e- for even the pro players but I think intermediates and new players are going to really struggle right so um, I always thought that those type of characters were were, were difficult for people even Horong I mean speaking of your Horong player. That character's mm-hmm. oh, whenever I've asked, hey, what what anti tutorial do you want next? The the m- the most answers I get will will, will be on Huarang, you know, mm-hmm. that is because they just don't understand it when it comes to the strings, the stances, and they've kind of done that with uh, with Reina. I think the Reina's design is cool, you know, but and, and everything. Same with other center to be honest. But yeah, they they seem to be. It's not it's not overly obvious how to play against them. Although you did say that you 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 think that as a center you have the clear way to play against her but i mean i, I think it's I think, difficult i think you have a clear way to like you know fight her but i think it still sucks i don't think it's like a weakness right it's not it's not like if you do this against azucena you'll win it's where it's like if you you fight azucena and you you hold the you hold the mix it's, it's still a struggle